Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is, the consensus greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Bones. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84-inch reach, certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the Ladies particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find the Bruce Buffer. event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting at Limassol, Cyprus, the Destroyer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. All right, keep the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. Oh, late defense on the takedown. It scrambles to his feet nicely. That punch no good. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Nice 
job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Oh, big left. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Big kick. How about that shin? Uppercut lands for him. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's hurt. Blocks the shot. Nice punch to that over the top. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh! Huge strike lands there and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Just out of range with that right hook. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, Superman punch! Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Big hook. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Overhand right, swing and a miss. It's such a fast leg kick. Jones' shot is blocked. Oh, nice straight punch there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you hit him in the body that clean. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Jones. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target is always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones sees desperate. That title right around the Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice! Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. Now he's got him hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Oh, massive kick! Everything behind him. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice punch by Jones. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Double Come on, guys, keep it moving, let's go. 20 seconds to go round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now he touches him with the left. survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. An uppercut landed! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. What a... there with a punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. The slip, and then the counter by Johnny Bone. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. That knee might have landed there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Stay sharp. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Watch the strike. And there comes the separation now. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Punch over the top. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Final seconds of round three. Nice punch lands over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? <laughs> Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. 
this round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Well, missed on that one. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice easy punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh! Gets the single collar tie. Jones leaning on the kicking game here tonight, DC. Pretty good strategy early. And that is usually what he leads with. He's a great kicker. He's a guy that has a variety of kicks. Spinning kicks, knees, side kicks. He kicks in so many ways that you never truly know where he's coming from. Looking to land the right just out of range. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Hook to the head by Jones. And that one was heavy. Under one minute remains in round four. Oh, big punch land. Body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if he's beat, oh! he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful kick. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Here we go, fifth and final round. Big shot land. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's all over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Nice strike. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Ooh, head kick land. Landed the right hand there. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh! oh. No, he moves it to the oh. arm. Yeah, not much purpose here defensively, and... The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout line! He tasted the knockout line! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 55 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, the destroyer. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.